welcome back to Pancakes and Pandemonium. So if you're new here, I'm Sarah. I'm a mom of five. Uh, three of my kids are on the spectrum. And right now, we actually have two extra little ones staying with us. One of the ways I take care of such a huge family and the way we like to build community um, is grocery shopping and grocery shopping sales and deals. Uh, I've done weekly shopping hauls before. I typically spend about $180, but you know, when things come up or when I can get out the stores, I love to hit the clearance aisles too. So you saw I just had a huge clearance haul from Walmart. Well, today Emma's sick. We have to go pick up a prescription for her. And so I went ahead and hit the end caps while we were waiting for her prescription to get done. And we picked up a couple sale items at Smith's too. If you don't know, Smith's is my local Kroger affiliate. So I spent $130 and let me show you what I got for $130. So starting here, Cokes, these are four for 12. I also had an additional an additional dollar fifty off coupon, so I spent ten fifty for four six packs of Coke Zeros, which is fantastic. Four for twelve is pre a pretty commonplace price right now, so ten fifty, freaking amazing. So I got four six packs of Coke Zero. They haven't had a really good cheese sell in a while. Guys, these 32 ounce bags, the bricks too, but I don't have a good cheese shredder and I didn't wanna make kids do it. But $4.99, which is so good right now. And so I got two sharp cheddar, I got two mozzarella and two cheddar jack. And then we'll divide these into quart size bags and get them stacked in the freezer, cheese freezes and uh, they'll last a while and it will be awesome. The Monsters were buy two get one free, which is a pretty common sale, but Lance saw the orange dreamsicle, which he really wanted to try. And my cousin Shauna has been telling me about this flavor and I haven't seen it anywhere else. So yeah, it just made sense to grab a couple. Normally I buy these at Dollar Tree, but they were buy one, get one free which made them a little cheaper than Dollar Tree. So I picked up two more Starburst drink mixes too. I tried really hard not to like fall victim to the seasonal stuff, especially in the grocery store, but they had some really great candles and I just could not pass up this pumpkin and those skeletons and they were 30% off. And I'm gonna be real with you, not great priced, even at 30% off, but they were so cute, you guys. So freaking cute. So I got them anyway. Those were sale items that I went ahead and picked up over there. Now I'm gonna show you everything I got for clearance. Ke clearance, kettle and fire, broccoli and cheese soup. Do you think clearance food is expired or going to you know, expire in like a week or something? Look at that, these will still sit on my shelf for a little over a year. So I got four of these. I love bougie things if you haven't noticed. And truffle salt is up there, it was one of my favorites. 580, you guys. These gravies were two for a dollar. And again, they have a year of shelf life left, so I got four. You'll see a few treats sprinkled in here because we're gonna have a family game night tonight. Twizzlers, a dollar five, all on clearance. They had a whole cart of these guys. Um, we stopped at three, but a whole cart, whole cart of Twizzlers, a dollar five each. I typically make Alfredo from scratch, but 39 cents, we'll try this. Y'all know we love bread. Y'all know I love flatbreads for like pizzas and lunches. These looked super interesting. They were $2.31 and there's five in each package. So, you know, I can stick these in the freezer and we can have, you know, pizza lunches or a pizza night. These fire roasted vegetable soup mixes, 80 cents, you guys. Y'all know we love teas and all the tea flavors. I found this lemon echinacea, especially with all the viral stuff 
going around like crazy. 62 cents. On these better than bouillons in the cart with the soups and stuff. So they had an onion and then they had a turkey base. Guys, the turkey base was 32 cents. Again, they have a year of shelf life left. With the onion, same thing with the onion. The onion base was $1.60. These Campbell soups were 98 cents each and it's a broccoli and cheese soup with croutons. And then I found this guy sitting there, a white chicken chili, and it was a dollar five. So this Funfetti cake mix, I mean, the box has just been beat to heck, but everything else about it is fine. It doesn't expire anytime soon. Guys, it was 62 cents. So these mini cupcakes were $2.90. And guys, these were $9.99 because well, it says on the sticker, but it also rang up wrong, so she had to adjust it for the clearance price. So, yeah, we'll eat these tonight. These little sprinkly pound cakes were $1.35. All of the bread was 50% off. So, this is like a, a whole grain, like seed nut bread, 50% off. And then they had this variety pack of like uh, bagels and stuff, $1.52. And it's got one, two, three, four, five bagels and whatever that guy is. And then the cinnamon raisin bread, bread was $1.76 as well. So with the breads and the cheese, like I said, those are gonna go in the freezer so it pauses their shelf life. They last even longer. I can pull them out for breakfast. Um, avocado toast, whatever it is we're wanting to make with them, they'll be in the freezer waiting. We've got some inexpensive treats tonight to enjoy while we play games um, and things that will you know, last and be able to be pulled out for easy lunches or a quick dinner or stuff like that. So. Um, it was $130, remember the Cokes and the cheese and the Halloween stuff, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, and obviously there are sacrifices you can make in your budget so that it's even cheaper. I could have not bought the Halloween stuff. I could have not bought the sodas or the monsters could have bought less cheese, but for my family, some of this stuff makes sense. May not for yours, but guys, not bad for 130 bucks. And these are gonna stretch and they're gonna stretch into other meals and it's, it's gonna be great. So I hope this gives you some inspiration. Um, Kroger, which is Smith's is a Kroger affiliate. They've always got coupons. They've always got sales. I get free coupons all the time from them. A bag of Doritos, a free thing of peanut butter, a free brick of cheese, it just depends. But I shop at them so much that I get these customer best coupons. I didn't check for any today. Um, I haven't seen any in this week. I get free stuff from them all the time and it's legit free. Like I can walk in, buy that one item, scan the coupon, zero dollars and zero cents. I do not have to buy anything for that to apply. So. I love Kroger and I love their stores. Um, I think it is one of the best places to shop for any budget. So take that for what you will. I hope you enjoyed this haul. I got hope you got some inspiration. Go check the end caps, go check those clearances. There is always deals in your grocery store. And like this video, subscribe, Come back for more pancakes and pandemonium. We'll see you next time.